You know what really chars my veal? When websites or apps you're using randomly sign you out at the worst possible time. Your boss has sent you something urgent, but you can't reply in time due to the rigmarole of signing back in. Two-factor ass mess and everything, and suddenly you're unemployed and out on the streets. Hey, if it happened to me, it could happen to you. Okay, maybe it's not that dire, but services that end your session with no warning are infuriating. So why does it happen? Typically, it comes down to the service trying to keep you secure in some way. And I get it, staying safe online is super important. But why is signing you out a solution? Typically, services can sign you out after a certain amount of time has passed since your last sign-in or since you were last active. This is to help prevent an attacker who has broken into your account from having access to it indefinitely. Let's say that someone gets into your PC where you're already signed into a service that you use all the time. Having an expiration date on your session, which can be done through the use of cookies if you're going through a web browser, means that at some point the attacker will need to actually have your password and possibly your two-factor device to get back in. Different services can set very different sign-in intervals, explaining why you might never have problems with something like Twitter, while Gmail can be very annoying when you're trying to pull up an important work message or a sheet or a doc. Of course, this sign-in duration thing isn't exactly foolproof, so a service might make you sign back in if it detects something is amiss through a technique called fingerprinting. This is when a service collects data on you to make it easier to identify you. And although this obviously raises privacy concerns, it can help from a security perspective. For example, sites can track everything from your location to the size of the screen you're using to your audio configuration. And if there's enough of a change in those things, the next time you use a service, it may trigger a request to sign in again, just in case these changes aren't the result of simply using your laptop in a different location when you get off the airplane. And it's actually the result of an attacker trying to drain your bank account. But because fingerprinting has plenty of privacy conscious critics, certain browsers are trying to make it difficult for services to track you for any reason. Therefore, it's becoming more common for browsers to block or delete tracking cookies, especially if they originate from a different domain. One funny example is if you're trying to use Microsoft Teams, your browser might be deleting cookies from Skype.com, which actually ties into the team service. So you might get prompts to sign in more often than you'd expect, or even more often than Microsoft themselves would like. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. All right, fine. All this inconvenience is here to keep me safe. That might be all right if this actually worked as intended, but it often doesn't. Sometimes you can get signed out because your organization doesn't manage saved credentials correctly. A huge problem with services often used for office communications, like Teams. Other times, authentication issues can rear their ugly heads. For example, the much maligned Microsoft Teams works together with the Microsoft Authenticator app if you're trying to use it on a smartphone. So if Teams is misbehaving, you might burn lots of time trying to solve the issue with the Teams app itself, when the actual solution is to clear the Authenticator's cache and restart it. So the bottom line is that unless something on your device or within your organization is configured incorrectly, you might be at the mercy of the services themselves. So stay cool if you're randomly asked to sign in again, and remember not to try and punch in your 20 character password while you're driving on the freeway. The cops probably uh, won't buy your excuse of being safety conscious. Big thanks to today's sponsor, Fubo TV. It's an amazing alternative to paying for high cable prices and dealing with shady cable companies. Fubo TV comes with over 100 of your favorite channels, including complete coverage of all your favorite sports with local broadcasters, all major league networks, and NFL Red Zone, ESPN, ABC, CBS, and more. You can watch Lewis Hamilton get first place in F1 or see the LA Lakers win the playoffs if they do. You can also record your favorite games and shows on Fubo TV's Cloud DVR and watch anywhere on any device. Coming in at half the cost of cable, that's right, half, it's the best option for cord cutters anywhere. Fubo TV is easy to try. It takes just two minutes to sign up and start streaming all your favorite cable channels. No cable walks required. Get that crap off my shelf. So sign up for a risk-free trial of Fubo TV and get 15, that's 1-5% off your first month by going to fubotv.com slash techquickie. Yeah! So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment sections, of course with your ideas for topics that we should cover in the future.